Let's learn about tenses. In writing and speaking, you have to know when an action happened. The tense of a verb gives us this information. Look at the given sentences. Read the lesson now. In this sentence, the verb read shows an action taking place in the present. So the tense is called the present tense. The dog chased the bird. In this sentence, the action of the dog is already over. The past tense. So we call the tense of the verb chased as the past tense. Sonu will buy the toys tomorrow. In this sentence, the action is yet to happen. So we call the tense of the verb buy as future tense. It comes with the helping verb will with the main verb to form this tense. So, the three main forms of simple tenses to be studied now are the simple present tense, the simple past tense and the simple future tense. Underline the verbs and write the tense to which they belong. The child laughed at the clown. The lake is deep. The branches of the tree broke in the storm. The plane will land at five o'clock in the evening. Our teacher will conduct the test next week. She writes very neatly. Bees suck nectar from flowers. The boy drove the car rashly. The minister will visit the flood affected villages. She loves music. When do we use the simple present tense in sentences? Use the simple present to express the idea that an action is repeated or usual. The action can be a fact, universal truth, a habit, a hobby, a daily event, a scheduled event or something that often happens. For example, the train leaves every morning at 8 a.m. California is in America. The earth revolves around the sun. Babies drink milk. Games are compulsory in schools. When do we use the simple past tense in sentences? The simple past tense is used to talk about actions that happened at a specific time in the past and the action is over when you talk about it. You form the simple past of a verb in the following ways. Firstly, by adding the suffix d or ed or t to verbs. For example, walk becomes walked, where we have added ed. You form the simple past of a verb in the following ways. In some categories, by changing the vowels in the verb. For example, rise becomes rose in the past tense. In some verbs, the past tense is a totally new word. For example, go becomes went. 
When do we use the simple future tense in sentences? Simple future has two different forms in English. Will and be going to. Both will and be going to refer to an action that is going to happen at a specific time in the future. Shall is used in place of will whenever the subject is in the first person.